Hey, welcome, it's Cassie. Today I have a hot, fake hot cocoa for you. And I know a lot of you guys don't like to use resin. So I wanted to make a version of this without resin, but that you can still like sit the marshmallows down into it and make it look really realistic. So the first thing you're gonna need is some sort of mug. I'm gonna use this one so that you can see through the side. Um, but if you just wanted to do the top part, you can do that as well. This is just a Dollar Tree mug. So the first thing we need to do is paint the inside of the mug to make it look like there's hot chocolate inside of there. So for that, I'm gonna use melted chocolate and territorial beige mixed together. Just be sure you get it dark enough that it doesn't look like coffee with creamer in it. The territorial beige on its own looks like coffee, so the melted chocolate just gives it more of that cocoa look. So we're just gonna paint the inside of the glass. And then just paint up to however high you want your hot cocoa to go. So there's kind of a spot on this mug where it flares out a little bit at the top. So I'm going right up to that point. And I like to smooth this out with my finger instead of a paintbrush because I can get it on there thicker and then I don't have to do two coats. But if you use a brush, you will probably have to do two coats. So let that dry and then we'll do the rest. So now my paint is dry. I'm just going to trace the top of my mug onto a piece of poster board or cereal box. Anything that's kind of like sturdy. And then when I cut this out, I'm going to cut on the inside of the circle because I want it to fit inside of my mug. And you may have to trim it down a couple of times to get it to the size that you want. So I'm going to take a toilet paper roll and I'm going to make a mark like where I want to cut it so that I want it to be shorter than this where this paint ends so that I won't see, see it sticking up. So I'm gonna glue this into here, but um, I don't know if you guys know this, but hot glue does not stick to glass permanently. So I'm gonna use this Gorilla Super Glue Gel so that I make sure that it stays you can use hot glue, but just I just wanted you to be aware that it does not permanently stick. So especially if you're selling this or something, you'll want to make sure that it doesn't fall apart, you know. So just press that down in there. This stuff dries pretty quickly. And now I'm just going to put some hot glue on the top of my toilet paper roll. And then I'm going to put my poster board on there. Now I'm going to set this aside for just a minute because we're going to... Um, make some marshmallows. So I have my foam clay here and the one I'm using is from Play Code 3. You guys always ask me which ones I'm using. So um, I do have a discount code in the description in the materials list for you. If you want to order from Play Code 3, you can get a discount. So I've just conditioned my clay and now I'm gonna roll this into a log.
about the size that I want my marshmallows. I'm going to use small marshmallows. If you want to put big marshmallows, just make it a bigger log. And then I'm going to take my clay blade and just cut these into size uh, pieces that are about the same size so that all my marshmallows are similar size. Now I'm just going to take this and I'm going to roll it and then press it. Just keep rolling and pressing until you get it to look like a marshmallow. You can press it between your fingers or you can press it, roll it and press it on the mat or whatever surface you're working on. Okay, so for our top part of this, um, I'm gonna make a mixture of caulk and paint and Mod Podge. So I'm just using the same bowl I mixed my paint in earlier. I wanna make sure I have a good amount of this because I want to be able to smush my marshmallows down in there as if they're kind of sinking in to the cocoa. So I'm gonna do my same colors, territorial beige and melted chocolate. So I'm going to mix these together and make sure I have the right color before I add the Mod Podge because the Mod Podge really lightens up the color. So I just want to make sure that I have a cocoa color here before I go any further. Now the caulk is also going to make it look lighter here. So um, once it dries, it'll be darker. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and add my gloss Mod Podge. And the Mod Podge is going to help it look a little shiny and it's also going to thin it out a little bit so that I can get it pretty smooth on the top. So now I'm just going to take my mug and I'm going to pour this on top of that. poster board piece and then I'm just going to spread this around on the top and try to get it nice and smooth and then um, I'm going to do a dollop of whipped cream in the center of this but um, then I'm going to do my marshmallows like around. So I'm going to go ahead and put the marshmallows in before the surface starts to dry because the surface of this dries up pretty quick. So now for the whipped cream, I'm going to use my lightweight spackling. And then I have my piping bag here and I have a 2D piping tip that I'm going to use for this. So I just put my piping tip into the bag and then I mark right below where the openings are so that I can cut my bag there. So just cut right where I marked and then the tip will go through just perfectly and stay. And then I'm just going to put a little dollop right in the center there. And then since it's getting close to the holidays, I thought I'll put a little candy cane in there. I made this candy cane. Um, I have a video tutorial in my Etsy shop if you want to make a bunch of Christmas candies. So I'm gonna put that there. And then I have some crushed peppermint candy that I made out of polymer clay. So I'm just going to sprinkle that on the top of my whipped cream. And that's all there is to it. Now, when this dries, if it doesn't look shiny enough for what you want it to look like, you can also just go, you know, you'll have to work around your marshmallows and stuff, but you can 
um, do some gloss Mod Podge or some matte Mod Podge on the top to give it a little more gloss because it will not stay this shiny once it's dry. So if you feel like it needs some more gloss, you can do that. So there is the cute little cocoa. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was a little bit different. I know there are a lot of hot cocoa tutorials out there, um, but I wanted to make it look more realistic with the marshmallows sinking down in. And I hope this has helped you guys and have a wonderful day.